Hello everybody, it's Kenneth from the Archives here with another video dipping into our collections and delving into the history of the University of Dundee. Today I'm going to be looking at some photographs we have of the Queen's visits to Dundee and the University. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the Queen coming to the throne and she has now reigned by far longer than any other monarch in British history. Her first visit to what was then Queen's College Dundee took place on the 28th of June 1955 and here we can see her and the Duke of Edinburgh greeting various college dignitaries in College Hall. That's the International Room today. If you look you can see the crest up is the crest of the University of St Andrews. We were part of the University of St Andrews at the time. Behind the Duke of Edinburgh on display was the grant of arms to Queen's College. Queen's College having been founded the previous year to replace University College Dundee. As well as various university figures, if you look on the right, you can see Lord Provost William Hughes. And this was, visit was part of a wider visit to Dundee by the Queen that day. In this picture, we can see the Queen with Professor David Rutherford Dow. Professor Dow, as well as being the long-time Professor of Anatomy at University College and then Queen's College, was the first master of Queen's College. And here he can be seen signing the visitor's book with the Queen. Perhaps the most famous incident that took place that day was this one. If you look, the Queen is walking over gowns. These are the red gowns of University College students. And the story behind that event is this. It was a very wet day. Um, the Queen's visit to Dundee in 55 was famously a wet day. And there were puddles had formed at the entrance to the old college buildings. So four students, John Anderson, Neil Bust, Leslie Burgess and Michael Illingworth, decided that they would put their gowns down over the puddle and then the Queen could walk over them. And in doing this, they were emulating a famous story about Sir Walter Raleigh putting his cloak down so Queen Elizabeth I of England wouldn't have to walk over a puddle. The Queen smiled and acknowledged their chivalry and went on her way. And this incident was then reported widely in the press across Britain the next day. It became the highlight of her whole visit to Dundee in terms of how it was reporting these gallant modern rallies, as the students were called. Uh, in fact, so successful was this stunt that a few years later in 1961, when the Queen Mother formally came to open the Tower Building, that was another wet day, and a student recalling this earlier event put his gown down so the Queen Mother could emulate what her daughter had done six years earlier. This comes from a later visit by the Queen to Dundee. This took place in July 1991, and this was part of the festivities to mark Dundee's 800th anniversary of its founding. And one of the things that was held was Expo 800 at Riverside, which was a big exhibition where various businesses, educational establishments, charities had stands. And the Queen opened that uh, after attending a church service at the Par Dundee Parish Church St Mary's. Uh, and here we see her at the university stall with Professor Hamlin. And in the foreground there, you can see Lord Provost Mitchell. This is a more recent visit. This is the front of contact from 2007, and it marks the Queen's visit to the university in July 2007, where she opened the Dalhousie building. And that is commemorated by a plaque on the floor of the Dalhousie building if you're on campus and want to see it. OK, so these are just a few snapshots of the Queen's visits to Dundee, which I hope you have found interesting. We'll talk again soon, but in the meantime, stay safe, take care.